A few days ago, I put up side by side on my stories, Instagram stories, um, two images. One of a beautiful young lady uh, painting and the other of, of this lady here. Not so young and certainly not so beautiful. And I said, okay, choose which one you'd like me to talk about on Monday, um, today. And I could have 100% predicted that you would go for this one, and you did. Uh, she is colloquially known as the Ugly Duchess, otherwise an old woman, that's the, the, the title of the work. Um, painted by a Flemish artist called Quentin Massis in 1513 and she's in the National Gallery in London so whenever I do a tour if we happen to walk through the room in which this this painting is hung I can guarantee it's not big it's not very big at all but I can guarantee that someone will either comment or they will feel compelled to to go and have a look at it. And it's not surprising. I mean, it is in many ways extremely compelling for all the wrong reasons. Uh, where do we start? Um, this high, bulging forehead, eyes a bit too close together, this upturned nose with very extraordinarily flared nostrils, um, the very long gap between the the nose and the mouth which by the way i don't think that mouth has a single tooth in it um so maybe we should just be thankful for small mercies that she's not smiling with her mouth open because uh, you know that really wouldn't be nice the wart have you noticed the wart on her cheek and and then as you move down as the eye moves down we have the treat of this crepey cleavage that is barely contained by a dress that I would suggest is perhaps too small for her um, that's pushing her breasts up and and together in an alarming way um, and then notice the way just to top it all off that she's holding up this rosebud very delicately in her fingers which kind of makes it all the more queasy um, so she's holding this rosebud bud up rosebuds have very much connotations to sex especially in such proximity to this expansive flesh um, and look at her headdress devil's horns hmm. um, so yes she is she's flirting she's flirting with us as alarming as that might sound um, there's another thing about this, this painting, there's many things about this painting that I think is, is quite compelling and that's the fact that although she is so unattractive, the painting itself is really beautiful. It's, the formal properties, it's, 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 it's brilliant, it's brilliantly painted. Um, so just take a look for example at this brooch and just the, the craftsmanship, just the, the, the very delicate, the very careful painting of this brooch with the with the white flecks highlighting the, the diamonds and the pearls. And then in contrast, so we know that this is metal and we know these are precious stones and pearls. And then contrast to the, the way that the embroidery on her headdress has been has been painted. And then the skin a different texture. Again, it's 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 brilliant. And then let's go there. We need to go in up close, I think, for this one. The wart, the wart on her cheek. Can you notice that he's actually bothered to paint hairs coming out of it? And then there's the thread veins and the little wrinkles. I mean, it's just, it's brilliantly, brilliantly painted, but quite frightening. Um, so what's the deal? So is she, is, is this a person? Is this caricature um is it a woman <laughs> quite a lot of people say my god is that a man in drag no it is a woman um and it is not a caricature it is a real woman um the the poor thing the the consensus is is that she looks this way because she suffered from a very rare form of paget's disease which caused bone deformity 
Um, but the interesting thing is that she probably didn't have this disease when she was young. This is probably something that happened in, much later on in life. Um, so I, I like to think that, and this is my own personal opinion, um, I like to think that maybe she's looking so coquettish um, because she is just rocking her inner 18 year old before she got this disease and she has forgotten how she looks now and is just still working with how she feels inside. Let's, that's, that's my theory. Um, so we know that it was a real person um, it's also very likely that Mrs. Uh, painted her from life and I'm saying this because the painting has been studied and um, and it's been found that there are underdrawings and, and changes and so on that have been worked up as, as the painting has progressed and these are consistent with uh, an artist working from uh, a live model which in turn unravels another art history mystery, unravels, it solves one, um, and that is concerning this image here, which I'm sure you'll notice is extremely similar to the image of the ugly duchess, and that it's an image, this drawing is by Leonardo da Vinci. So for centuries it was thought that Leonardo da Vinci had sent Macis this drawing and that Macis had decided to, to work um, this up into a, a proper portrait uh, but in fact it was the other way around so because of the underdrawings and so on it's widely assumed now that Macis sent sketches to Leonardo and Leonardo copied them. Um, so this is um, this is in I, th I think it's in the Royal Collection in Windsor. Or the, if it's not this one, there's definitely works like this one, very similar to this one by Leonardo da Vinci in um, in the Royal Collection in Windsor. So she inspired inspired Leonardo da Vinci. Both of them, both Macias and da Vinci, were very interested in um, grotesquerie and shall we say people with unusual faces, and they did they did correspond a lot. Um, so a real person from life she's also got a friend she's got a friend and that is this gentleman here um, now these two portraits have been paired again relatively recently um, but they've been paired because they both by Macis both at um, the same time but they speak to each other in, in a lot of different ways the background is is almost the same both have their hand on a, a balustrade in the same way they're facing each other and so it's thought that when the ugly duchess was painted she was painted to be a, a pendant pair with with this chap here just referred to as an old man. We don't we don't know who he is. Um, so that makes me happy because then I think, well, if they were married, perhaps um, you know that she was looking all kind of you know minxy at him, and he doesn't look too horrified, does he? So I think that maybe he still sees her as the, as the, the young, lovely girl that she might once have been. Anyway, this is all in my own mind. This is all my own supposition. Um, so paired up with this guy but this is an unusual portrait in itself um it's unusual in that it's um it's a copy and it's a copy of a portrait of philip the bold who was the duke of burgundy um so you know perhaps this guy had some kind of lineage that he wanted to celebrate between himself and the the Duke of Burgundy who knows what is peculiar let's go back to this beauty um what is peculiar is that both he and the Duchess are wearing clothes from the time of the Duke of 
Burgundy, Philip the Bold, the Duke of Burgundy, which was about 110 years before these portraits were painted. So, what's that about? Why are they wearing costumes? Um, and yeah, it's 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 a mystery. So we don't really know whether this was commissioned by this presumably this couple. Um, it would, obviously, we don't know if it was commissioned whether they were happy with these portraits, or possibly a theory is is that um, Massey's um, worked up both portraits and that they were a little bit mocking to say the least um that sort of the, she certainly had a, a moral message i mean she's she's much more grotesque than the than the the old man um but the the, the message is don't dress up as mutton dressed as lamb uh because you will look ridiculous and it's a sort of um i feel like a moral lesson through through ridicule uh, so it's yeah we don't we don't to be honest know why they were painted or who they were painted for or whether they were commissioned um, but we do believe that they are a pair that are meant to be or were meant to be hung together um yes a strange a strange and compelling work so compelling that you might actually recognize her if you've been if you've been sitting here thinking um oh you know what she's so familiar there's just something there's just something about her that i really recognize and i haven't been to the national gallery for years so it can't be that well let me enlighten you there we go john tenniel who was um one of the first illustrators for alice in wonderland was a very frequent visitor to the national gallery and quite clearly the portrait of the ugly duchess or the painting of the ugly duchess um, inspired him because he based the duchess in alice in wonderland this is a, an illustration from 1865 um, on on her uh, on this painting so <laughs> not <laughs> not maybe the most the most flattering also inspired me i'm going to show you something now so you know this um this craze there's been for recreating very well-known masterpieces in your own home during this time of lockdown well i spent a very happy hour on sunday creating this and i did i did go for the whole look um hang on i'm going to put it on for you um prepare to be amazed or to laugh quite a lot um okay let's put my glasses back on otherwise i can't see a thing um yes here we go so this i was thinking that i was going to recreate um a the portrait of the ugly duchess uh so i made this headdress this was a very happy hour on Sunday. Um, out of out of a bikini top, so it won't work for everybody, um, and bits that you stuff in into shoes, and then a little brooch, and I think this is an old petticoat. Uh, so this is my headdress, and then I did I did go for the or try for the rest of the look, um, but to be honest, it looked um, alarming in. <laughs> in ways that I'm not going to share with you. It just looked a bit obscene, to be honest. It looked very wrong indeed, um, as this does, but there we go. So, on this note, on this note, I just want to say that, I, yeah, so I'm trying for, for this and, I, and I, I need to maybe find another painting to inspire me. So if anyone's got any ideas, then send your ideas to me um, and I will try and recreate some famous work of art in um, maybe a better way than this um, but for now have a great day on Thursday I'm going to be talking about flowers and particularly uh, in particular tulips um, but yeah for now have a good one and I will see you Thursday bye <laughs>